Today I'm answering the question, why are all our drip edges white? And the reason they're white is because they're all TPO coated steel. So whenever we do a TPO roof, which stands for thermal polyolefin, the thermal polyolefin gets bonded in a factory to the drip edges. And so they come like this to me. This is obviously for a different job, but this is a super slick surface and it only comes in white. I mean, there are other colors, but not widely available. And especially in the Corona times, it's even hard to get white. So the thing I want to do today is show you guys how we're just finishing up our last details on this job that took us forever to do because this project was massive. We had so many things happen on this job that were like hard to deal with, but we made it work. Everything's waterproof and we're now we're just making it look nice. And the way we're going to change the color of our drip edges is going to be using paint because I'd rather see a black face on this building because obviously the building is so sexy and needs to look good. Everything else is black. It looks weird to have white. So the customer asked me, can you do black drip edges? I said, no problem. I'll make it work. So I found a way to do it. We're doing it how the manufacturer recommends. We're using the best paint, the best primer there is. And the reason I use TPO coated steel instead of aluminum drip edges on my building is because I can actually weld directly to the drip edge. So this is what it looks like when TPO coated steel is bent into a drip edge. And if you can look really closely, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that TPO is actually bonded to the drip edge. And that's a thousand percent better than using a peel and stick cover tape, some kind of a membrane, bending the material over. This is better a thousand times over when we're just providing a premium product. The first thing we're going to do here is mix it nice and slow so don't get any air bubbles in it, in the primer that is. Now while that's getting mixed, what I did is I went down to our brake that's set up way down there and I bent up this piece of aluminum. And what this is going to help us do is make it so we don't get splatter marks all over the building. So the idea is that this gets tucked up in underneath our drip edge. Obviously I can't do it with one hand, but then we're able to paint the drip edge without getting splatter marks all over the building. So this is going to save us a lot of time and money trying to clean off all those primer and paint splats. But this is the idea, mixing it up, getting it ready. We're using a brand new gallon, so that way we know we have perfect adhesion because we don't want old practice sitting around, taking its time and then dying on us because this is taking so much labor and time and so much money to do. We need to get it right because we cannot do this again. So Isaac's just applying the primer right now and that's kind of what that looks like. This primer is a really high quality primer. We, this is my favorite low VOC single ply primer. The next thing I'm gonna do here is while Isaac's priming with the drip edges, I'm going to prime up the center section of the roof because um, when the original roof was here, there was actually this hardy siding that continued all the way across. So the first thing I do when I want to paint is I snap a line because I want the chalk and I want my tape to be really nice and flat. Go ahead, snap it. Okay, now we have a straight line. I can now tape that off, clean it really well, and then I can go ahead and prime it up so we can paint it all at the same time and make it look really nice. So we're gonna forego the siding because the siding uses nails to secure it to the, to the wall. And we'd like to get away from that and transition more towards paint that if the paint falls off, we're not gonna have a leak, but if the siding has an issue, we're gonna have a leak. So I'm gonna forego the siding, paint it instead, and that should last a lot longer. <laughs> All right, so now that the primer's on, we're gonna let it dry and it's covered the TPO area we need it to be. The only thing I didn't prime yet is those scupper boxes because they also, the scupper box needs to come off first and then I can prime the flange and paint that black as well. So it really blends in really well. But what we have here is we have the TPO primed and we're just gonna let it dry. I put some frog tape up and that keeps it from, you know, not making a straight line. So when the drone goes over, you'll see like jagged lines if you don't paint correctly. So we're just gonna try to do our best to make it nice and clean and crisp. And then once this is dry, we're gonna come and apply the, the, the paint. Now, the paint that we're using is a Benjamin Moore Aura. And that's, as far as I know, is the best paint money can buy. I actually, I applied it like 10 years ago onto a building that had really bad siding, had a gallon left over from a job. 
I figured the building, you know, is not doing so well anyways. The cedar shake sidings are like falling apart. So I just threw the gallon of paint on top of it, even though there was mold, I didn't power wash, clean, sand, anything. I barely just scraped it and then I just threw the paint on. The paint looks better now than, it, than any of the other paint that was done on the building because it's really high quality paint and it hasn't chipped, peeled anything. Like it went straight over everything and it was like beautiful. Now it is very expensive as paint goes, but honestly, I really have a hard time beating it because it is so nice. Like this is the, uh, I can't even say it enough. I love this paint. That and this primer together is like an unbeatable combination that I just love using whenever I have to paint TPO coated steel or anything for that matter. Because you know, when I'm painting TPO, I want the best products. It really doesn't matter the cost at that point. We're at the point now we gotta peel the tape. And if we've done our job correctly, it's gonna look money. And that's it for today's video of the world's best paint on TPO. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then guys, over and out.